Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is the start of a new series and I've called it A Day in the Life of the Farmer and it's basically just me documenting a different job that I do on the farm. So today we are spreading fertilizer and as you'll have seen from the introductory bit, we are spreading nitram and we're here on winter barley. This is the third and final application this barley will get. It's had two applications of single top and yeah, finishing it off today with the, uh, with the night tram. So I've been away for quite a while uh, and the real off YouTube, the reason being I kind of I got into the potato harvest and it was something I'd never done um, driven the potato lifter and it was really challenging to be fair. Um, and I just thought it needed all my all my concentration and I wanted to do the best job I could um, learning sort of every day with it uh, picking up you know bits and bobs on it and things but it, it kind of required my full concentration um, so it wasn't until the very end where I picked up a tiny little bit of footage but by the end of it I was knackered I didn't really feel like uh, kind of editing videos uploading so I thought over winter I'd have a li little bit of time off and uh, pick it up again in spring, which is what I've done. Um, over that time, I've bought a new GoPro. So I'm now recording this on the GoPro Hero 7. Um, hopefully it's, it's, you know, it's good. Um, the quality is good and the audio is good because my, my GoPro Hero 4, which I've still got, um, I had a little mic, um, pack thing that I put on it to hopefully like increase the audio make it a little bit better so hopefully this is still still good quality audio and, and you can kind of follow along um, but yeah so I mean I'm hoping to to kind of carry on this series will be well I'll be doing um, the potato de-stoning quite shortly and Matt Coates still here on his placement he'll be doing uh, I think he's doing sort of bed tilling and all sorts um, around the potato so so I'll charge up the other GoPro and give that to him and hopefully we can kind of bring you some uh, some interesting videos to watch um, but that's the idea behind it anyway so yeah a little bit more about what's going on um, if you're interested we have got variable rate map up here on the iPad this is from SOYL um, and because it's the third application we are now applying more nitrogen to the thicker areas of the crop so we're feeding the the better areas trying to increase the yield in those areas the previous two applications with the single top uh, it was kind of reverse round so we would feed the bad areas and try and even the crop up uh, to you know across the field but but now we've kind of said well it's it's had enough it's done what it do, done what it will do um, we'll feed the better areas and try try and push those a little bit more um, so yeah all working off the the variable rate really and you'll see I'll show you in a minute as we go up the next pass just how the rate varies it started about 12k and you see as it builds up, it's coming across, uh, we then flick it up to 14, but if you watch the, the rate there, it's changing from 139, 
and say 139 on there, kind of in this blue patch, and now down to 130. So it's constantly changing. Um, it's all very clever. It's, it's easy to upload onto the iPad, um, and it's kind of done within, you can do it within half an hour, really, from, from computer to iPad, and you're ready to go. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a really good system to use, and hopefully, along with kind of the variable rate seeding, uh, and also the variable rate uh, applying the trace elements as, as variable rate, the P and K, uh, with the first spreader. Hopefully we're beginning to kind of even up the fields um, to bring them up to a standard, that, you know, the optimum and the best that they can do. Um, because as yeah, most people know, the fields aren't all the same. So a top headland has is, is probably got a different soil to the bottom headland, for example, um, and therefore you need to treat them differently. And that's kind of the idea behind uh, variable rate and precision farming really is, you know, you need to kind of micromanage each field um, because each field is each field is different and each part of the field is different. Um, you know, as a good example here in Top Shed. So, so yeah, that's kind of what we're, what we're up to. Um, yeah, it was in terms of fertilizing as well, I've done two passes on the wheat as well and I've done all three passes on the oilseed rate. Um, one limitation of granular fertilizer is the fact that you have to apply the last application on the rape when the machine can do it, uh, and when you're not gonna to cause too much damage with the, you know, the weight block, the tractor, and the, and the fur spinner as well. Um, you need to make sure that fur is going all the way out evenly and not being intercepted by the plant as it's, as it's spread out. Um, so liquid fur is certainly an option and it's probably where it, you know, it comes into play with all seed rape in particular for that final one or two applications. Um, you can put it on at the time when it needs it rather than when you have to uh, because of the machine. So um, yeah, the wheat we've still got two passes on as well. So they'll happen after, after the potatoes. Um, and then we're sort of into that that period of waiting waiting for harvest really. So um, we'll probably put the topper on and, and get around some of these grass margins, just tidy the farm up generally. Um, particularly around the edge of, edge of fields as well, you get quite a lot of weeds coming in. Um, and once it goes through the combine, the combine could shoot it out, and it, next thing you know, it's sort of out in the middle of the field almost. Um, and you're taking it, transferring it from one field to another to another. Um, so the idea, if you can get a nice clean edge, top those weeds off uh, and leave it a nice clean edge for the combine, uh, hopefully then you know, you'll know you stop the, the spread of weeds. Uh, particularly black grass is an issue. Not so much touch wood on this farm at the moment, but the fact is that a lot of the, the straw gets sold in a standing auction. Uh, and then people can come in with balers, they've been on their own land with black grass, uh, bring it here and it's just so easy to, to spread really. Um, so at least if we can do our bit and, and try and minimise it as much as possible then you know we can kind of look after it that way. So uh, that's the idea behind that. So yeah, still plenty going on. Um, other things we've been doing in the time, time being, we've been selling potatoes uh, which is going out to McCain's. So we've, lorries come in uh, during the week, even weekends, and we just basically load them out and, and off they go to the factory. Um, and yeah, uh, also been in the workshop doing some work on various kits. So the, the de-stoner I've been getting my head around so I've got a bit of a, a better idea when it comes to um, when it comes to spud planting, which is which will be quite shortly, um, can sort of look out for things which I've I've now picked up. Uh, bed tiller as well had a little uh, help Matt on that, and uh, and yeah, now on to just looking after the trailers, um, making sure they're they're good. So just yeah, a bit of maintenance really over winter, but the uh, and pruning actually pruning down the orchard. So there's there's a fair bit going on really. Um, but it's definitely nice to be back out on the on the land and doing a bit of fur spreading because I think it's probably one of my favourite jobs. The fact you know you get to go out and look round the farm, um, 
from the track to see and see how the fields are, are coming coming across so um, yeah it's quite quite a nice job really um, but there we go that that's top shed done I didn't film me doing the headland um, but yeah just I just filmed going up and down there so you can see uh, it's kind of followed us GPS followed us going up and down if we press pause and finish I then need to send back uh, the actual weight of the product that I've spread. So there I've done 0 0.70 or 702 kilograms, so 0 0.7 tons. And it said I'd my plan was 0 0.69, so we're pretty much bang on there. Uh, put that in, and then that goes back to the farm manager and the precision farming account manager, so he can keep an eye on. Uh, what's been applied and that's that and and we've then got one field left of barley uh, and then that'll be the barley done uh, we'll wash the spreader down and yeah and that'll we'll go on to the next job for the rest of the day so uh, yeah I just thought I'd bring you back in um, I'll carry on the rest of the video do a bit on the, the wash and the kit but uh, yeah that's pretty much where we're at so uh yeah thank you for for watching this bit and see you in the next part <laughs>the spreader has been washed I've sprayed it with a mixture of oil and diesel uh, to try and preserve it while it's not being used greased her up and taken the tractor off which is now already on a cultivator um, so yeah that's kind of concludes the day in the life of um, a farmer episode fertilizer spreading so I hope you've enjoyed it if you've got any questions put them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them next time but yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you again soon. Goodbye.